I've got no plans yet. Um, the plans are being made by the captain and the coach. Um, and I'm sure when we get to that game, um, we make some more plans. So um, I think the plan to row it at the T20 World Cup was not to ball bouncer, which I did and went for six. So probably no bouncers maybe to row it. Uh, Virat, uh, I think no one really knows where to ball when, he, when he's when they're chasing an ODI cricket, no one can get him out and he always scores 100. So we'll see, hopefully the, the brains trust come up with a good good plan. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, a little nip backer, hit the pad, LBW. What if he listened this? I don't think it would probably change how he plays. <laughs> I'm going to go a wide away swinger, nick off. Uh, we haven't planned much yet. Uh, we, we're trying to plan for the, for the first game, Pakistan. Um, obviously, India is going to be our last game. So I reckon we'll have a good look again to, to what they did in the in the first nine or eight games of the tournament. Um, and then we'll try and formulate some some sort of plan for them. But I reckon it's going to be a tough one to, to plan. Oh, you're not telling me, just. <laughs> we don't know. If, and if I did know, I wouldn't tell you either. Oh, okay. They might be listening. <laughs> to try and get them out. <laughs> that's the plan. How we're going to do it, it's going to be very difficult. But that's our plan. When we bowl against Farrakh Kohli, Okay, don't tell anyone this. Okay, sure, sure. All right, so when I run into bowl, I'm going to go out swing it, out swing it. There's two balls. Okay, okay. All right, after that, I'm going to bowl a slow ball. Okay. All right, off cut a slow ball. Okay. okay, he's going to hit me with four. I'm going to walk back, I'm going to pretend to be annoyed. I'm going to stop the game for about five minutes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to run, run on, get the captain to come up, and we're going to pretend to talk. I'm going to point in a general direction, mm -hmm. pretending to say that I'm going to bowl that way, but I'm not going to bowl that way. Okay, so I'm fooling him. Falling. So the ball number four, I bowl a nice half volley. <laughs> okay. And so he hits me for a, a big four, the crowd go wild, he puffs his chest up, he <laughs> thinks, you know, he's the greatest of all time, which he probably is. But now he's, I've got him exactly where I want him. Oh, okay. So okay. he's confident. So then I get to my top of my mark, this is the fifth ball. Okay. So I do a pray, prayer to the cricketing gods, uh -huh. and I smile and I say, I'll do anything for you in this moment, but just please, 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 let me get Virat Kohli out right now, okay? Running in, mm -hmm. running in. I close my eyes. I jump and I bowl the ball. Okay. And he's out. Oh, okay. Quite a great plan. That's it? I must say, I That's must it? say. That's uh, we're it? not going to tell this to Virat Kohli. Please do not tell Virat Kohli. Whatever you do, I hope you're not filming this. No, 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 not at all, not at all. This is the, uh, this is, hopefully this is just a fluffy thing in front of me. No, no, this is just a pen. Okay, there we go. Just Fuel. Pen, yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all right, brilliant. Very good bowler. Um, I think he's, he's probably the, the main bowler for India, so I don't want to say anything too controversial. <laughs> not yet planned or you're just not telling me? Uh, yeah, no, we'll keep that one We'll keep that one quiet until the game, yeah. Although I scored 44 runs today, so maybe I'm slowly getting to that batting, <laughs> batting group. Watch the ball, I guess. He's oh. so talented. Um, short ball, Yorkers, he's lethal with the Yorkers, so I think just stand still, watch the ball and and maybe do a little prayer and hoping, hoping everything comes all right. He's one of the best bowlers in the world, so um, probably Try and try and be positive. Try and look for scoring opportunities, and hope he doesn't bore you in absolute beauty. I'm going to smile. I'm going to kill him with kindness. <laughs> okay. So again, again, kill him with kindness, and again, I'll probably do a similar prayer uh, while batting. But it's uh, again, it's uh, I've I've been fortunate enough to face some of the best bowlers: Malinga, Brett Lee, Sean Tate. Uh, you know, there's been a number of spinners that I've faced, a number of bowlers, and so for me, it just kind of adds another one to the list, and. You know, as a batsman, you want to be able to, you know, hit them four or hit them six. Uh, but for me, it's just whatever the, the situation in the game is, that's how I'm going to play it. And he's just any other bowler. I'm going to try and see him bowl the ball, and then I'm going to try and hit the ball. So, no, nah, it's, uh, yeah, they're very good bowlers. Uh, from what I saw, he swings it both ways, so it's going to be challenging. I've been looking into some jacket where we can put ice in to keep the body <laughs> down. So. I watched a cycling documentary on Netflix about the Tour de France and they put like, because they got tight suits, so they would just put a block of ice in their neck, okay. uh, stops them from overheating. So that's something I'm, I'm trying to investigate further, even if it's maybe a cool pack that the physio carries with, which is normally for injuries. Maybe put that on while I'm not bowling. I don't know yet, but that's that's the insight from what I'm trying to do. <laughs> For me, it was probably uh, the last World Cup when England beat New Zealand. I was there. I was watching in the in the crowd, so it was pretty cool to be a part of. And now to be, you know, playing in a World Cup is is even more special. Um, so at the moment, it's it's that game, but I'm I'm sure it'll be one of the games that we're going to play in um, this this time. 
uh, definitely the final from the last edition. The 2019 Cricket World Cup final, I was in the crowd at Lords. Two of my best mates, and Matt Henry and Tom Latham, were playing in that game. Uh, I was with amongst the New Zealand friends and family section of the crowd in front of us with the England friends and family uh, section. And it was just one of those matches which has to go down as one of the greatest ODI matches of all time. There were waves of who's going to win, oh, New Zealand's going to win, oh, wait, England's going to win. And it just went back and forth. And I was purely just a, a cricket fan in that moment. And it was, you know, one of the best games I've ever watched. And unfortunately, it was heartbreak for New Zealand and heartbreak for two of my, my, my best friends. But it, it's, uh, it was just a match that you walked away and just in complete shock and how did that all kind of play out and the wonderful thing thing about sport is you can't write the script yeah, right. you never know what's going to happen except you, now except <laughs> now exactly but no you never know what's going to happen and i think that's what why people love sport is is the fact that it's just you go to a game and you don't know what's going to happen <laughs> boom rice uh, like that isn't it <laughs> Run up is completed now. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs>